getting them all dented out. All right, where else do we got it? We got that one big one on the side. We got this one here. We got that right there. There's a tad bit. You can fill it. I think we're going to have to glass that. Glass, glass that. that one. And then we got this one. Oh, man. This is some rough stuff here. So, <clears throat> I think what we're going to have to do... Get that wheel wall out. Yeah. Get that 10 millimeter. We're going to pull out the wheel well. Reach up in here. Pull this dent out. And see if we can clean this fender up a little bit more. She's a little rough. And then I don't like putting a lot of glass inside the body because it just, it's a fake, it's a cover up. So if we could fix the dance and then just do skim coats, that helps out way better. Cutting out the well, cutting out the rust and decay, putting in real metal so that it holds up. Definitely makes your car last a lot longer. Um, <clears throat> again, we're not using high quality paint here. We're using the uh, tractor paint. We're gonna, that's what the idea is, is take cheap tractor paint to make it look good. Right. Now. All right, with a little help of a uh, pry bar, take it out the fender wheel. We reduce that dent down to a skim coat so that we don't have a big whopping two pounds of mud in there to fix our situation. Got to get it ground down to smooth, down to the pure metal, or that stuff just will not stick. I think you got a problem with the cooling fan. Quite tight. I don't think that's my cooling fan. I'm going to stop the hood before in there. I think it might have been hit a couple times in the front. Smashed your back. We'll have to address it. All right, now we let the air compressor cool down. Got to figure out what's going on with her. I believe she's starting to seize up and lock up, maybe. Hopefully we can, I put some more oil in it. They really didn't put good compressor oil, but axle oil, that kind of thickens things up. I don't know, we'll see. Kick on the power. It's on. Five, four, three, two, one, power! We need a real air compressor. Oh. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. Uh-oh. Is that full? Not even close. Compressor croaked. Whew. Tap it again for the for the viewers. Oh yeah, she's locked up. Uh, air compressor locked up. No more air compressor. All right. Good morning, guys. Still working on the Toyota Corolla. Today we've been working on a lot of Bondo and trying to get the car finished prep for bond or for primer today i don't know if we're going to get it we're having some problems with the uh with the sander it seems to be falling apart like everything else um progress seems to be going pretty good just uh going a little slow we're on day 
four of the build and um, the build of the $200 car into the non $200 car. That's our method here. So uh, we'll put you on a little time lapse and. One more thing, guys. We got the air compressor going. Um, we decided we get this big fan over here when we run the air for this. For the primer and all that, we're gonna actually just put the fan right there. It does work. We actually let it cool down today. Um, it stays on and it won't cut off, so we just unplug it every once in a while. So that's that's it, guys. I'm gonna put you on time lapse, finish this bondo work, and um, what's standing here, and see how much space I got on my phone, and see how far I can get with it. Got to the um, driveway here. He is late to work. Look at him, guys. Look at him. He Where? is late. Late. No, I ain't. Say. Oh, we got another um, guest on the show. Looks like we got a tester on the um, podium today. I don't know if he's gonna do any testing today, but a little car work, maybe a little licking on the primer. He might be testing that. Oh yeah, primer licking. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Primer yeah. licking. What does primer taste like? No, no foul language. What does fresh paint taste like? Finger no polish. Yeah. Your vagina. Let's get this on the ball. Talk. Oh, okay. All right. Good afternoon, guys. Here we are, still working on the 1990 Corolla. I apologize. I've been saying 1999. If anybody caught that, that is not a 99. This is a 1990. This thing is how old? Man, 20. Three, twenty-four 28 years old. Years old. How, how old? The thing's close to twenty-eight. 27. Twenty-eight years old. Okay. So we're working on this non two, taking this two hundred dollar car into a non two hundred dollar car. We have done a lot of prep, uh, body work and prep work over the last couple days. We've gotten all the body panels, all everything pretty much stripped off, all the trim, and everything broken down so that paint's going to be easy uh i prefer to take it all down like that because then tape taping's just junk it, it it's just a quick fix um uh, i'm not calling this a refurb job but i'm calling Looks this a good. pretty decent little paint job since we're running the cheap tractor paint we're on the van sickle paint from Orsland's. It's not the greatest paint, but it is, it's okay. We are running an enamel base single stage paint with hardener, and then we're gonna let this car set for anywhere four to five days, and we're gonna let that enamel set and harden really good before we put on the final clear coat. And yes, they do even make a final clear coat. So uh, anybody who's interested in learning, Matt, over there, grab me a couple of those cans of paint, give me a clear hardener and paint, some stuff. Here, wait a minute. Let's just take it over here. All right, so what we got there is we got several different types of paints here. Um, to teach you guys a little bit about this enamel paint. The enamel paint is a kind of funny character. This is a tractor paint. We are running in the Massey, Gloss Massey Fergamasa Red. We get this at uh, Orsland's. Um, it's made by Van Sickle Paint. It uh, it's cheap. It's about eighteen nineteen dollars a quart, and uh, it's fairly cheap. But there is some other stuff that you just can't just go buy. That you just can't go put a nineteen dollar uh, can of paint on your car. There's to make it work right. You can, and it causes a lot of running. It lots of fish eyes. The stuff's real. It's real sensitive to. <clears throat> stuff that's on your car any oils or anything like that what we got here is some uh fish eye you can go to your local paint shop and get this for about 18 bucks um what this do will keep the paint from fish eyeing and cracking out to uh get a proper smooth coat on it now a lot of you guys have never painted this you're going to have to thin it um, Van Sickle also makes this reducer. 
this R-105 reducer that you want to put into this, I believe you add one full one of these to one quart of these. Uh, that gives you basically a half a gallon of paint. So uh, it uh, you can add one of those. We got two of these. So I hopefully when we paint the car, we won't need no more than that. Also, um, before we paint the car, we bought some. Um, 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 where'd it go? I don't know. Somewhere up here. Oh, here it is. We bought this. I recommend doing this. This is a uh, whoa, a self-etching primer. That uh, a primer is not a. It's not what it does for your car is to help adhere your paint to your car. It gives a it fills in lots of little tiny fine scratches and helps cause the paint to adhere to your car a lot better than just plying it directly on there. Um, this is a self-etching primer. It's supposed to be uh, no, no sanding required, but I, yeah, I don't, don't go with all that. But I would recommend getting your car prepped, getting out all the rust, and bondoing up any small fine dents that you got. And I recommend not trying to just fill in a big old goopy thing of uh bondo when we first started this project um i got some other bondo which is over here i'm not even sure where that went but basically the what it is was a kitty layer it's a fiberglass fill bondo to help fill in the big holes but we decided not to do that we ended up cutting out a lot of the uh bad spots the rot and decay and re-welding in new body panel pieces that where the rust were at just makes the car a lot nicer and a lot more secure and sound and then then we go back and use oh back over here we just got a small can you can see this little bitty can it's still got quite a bit in there um just regular body filler and we're just using that to fill in the low spots, that's all we're trying to do. Not trying to fill in a gigantic gap. But that's what we did. We stripped the car, sanded it down, cut it out, ground down to the pure metal to apply this. Don't ever try to apply this over your paint because the paint can come dislodged and then you got a big pop out spot in your car. You want it to last. You spend all that time doing the work. You want it to stay on there for a while. So we grind this down, give a good adhesion to it. And then once you get your body all prepped up, um, then apply your self-etching primer. This, again, is all tractor paint supplies. Uh, put that base down on there, and then uh, get your car ready. Once you throw down the primer, you can see a little bit more imperfections, and if you need to do any little bit more filling, make sure to always reprimer over those fillings because primer will soak up your paint, and you will have a flat-looking spot on your car. It'll just look like... It'll just look like... A sponge and then your paint just sucked right into it and it'll look spongy so you want to reprimer back over those spots and so we'll put you back on time-lapse review and watch us doing the build <laughs> Alrighty guys, we just got the car back in the garage. It's all dry, and guess what we get to do today is uh -oh. some primer. Let that puppy sit there for about a week and come back, and um, or about a day, I meant, and come back yeah, and uh. It's gonna take about four or five days. To, oh yeah, we'll set it overnight or over the weekend, and then we'll come back and put the paint on it. Yep. So, oh, like I said, once again, you guys know the drill. I'm gonna put you on the time lapse.
sorry guys, we just had a um, chemical just, spill. Major chemical spill. Wait, 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 I'm gonna <laughs> turn this around. Fucking chemical spill, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Total drenched in primer. <laughs> acetone everywhere. No, that ain't acetone, that's primer. That's paint. <laughs> Yeah, paint and primer. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Even on scars. Oh, oh yeah. you got it all over my. Oh, dude, it is so deep in your. Oh, yeah, look at that shit. Come on, freshly open scars. Oh, my God. Yeah, freshly good. open. Jesus, dude. Let me see the rag. There's a rag. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we just got some more primer in, and like more though. primer. I hope this primer don't get in my face this time, because the rest of the primer we had mostly went in my face, and now we got a new can of non-sketch primer. Now we want to see how sketch, no, non etch etch primer. We want to see how this stuff lays on, but it, I don't think it really matters because it's a um, foundation something 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 that something 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 that would work. So I think it would work both ways. What the Scott do? Yeah, let's mix her up. Mix her up. This is nice and tight. Now let's get away from him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got done primer primer the whole car looks pretty good got a few little dinks in right that. there a little more primer you can see it eh. but doesn't look too bad that's the thing doesn't look bad just primer just primer still got a few dents showing up in the fenders but Again, hey, this is the $200 car into the non $200 car. Yep. All right, guys, we'll leave this first thing for a date. Hopefully, we get this video uploaded by tomorrow. So, I want you guys to have about 100 likes, at least 25 views, at least yeah, one at subscriber. Yeah, at least one view. Hell, I don't know. That's yeah. Maybe counts for me and you. Hell, there's two. Yeah, about three views, you and me and yeah. Michael. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Um. So, I hope you guys like this. Um this season thing we're doing right now this parts video and we do we'll be doing more um whatever videos on this soon but we're going to split these videos in half if you guys are wondering um yeah well any last words that's it <laughs>